As Buffett was jetting off to New York or Washington or Buffalo, he and his wife were leading increasingly separate lives. Susie was getting serious about her singing. Neil Sadaka heard her in Omaha and suggested that she turn professional. And Susie was game to do it. Bill Ruane, Warren's investment manager friend, arranged for her to audition at Manhattan nightclubs, including Tramps and the Ballroom. The Buffett's New York friends discovered that she could sing. According to Roxanne Brandt, who was also a singer, if you had walked in off the street, you wouldn't have said this was a rich guy's wife. Invited back to New York for a return engagement, Susie began to talk about polishing her act and going on extended tour. She even signed up with William Morris, the talent agency. In the spring of 1977, as Buffett was purchasing the Buffalo Evening News, Susie was doing another stint at the French Café in Omaha. On occasion after the show, the staff would go to the Buffetts for a nightcap. Warren would join them for a few minutes and then disappear to his study, leaving Susie to play hostess. I have a picture of Mom and the French Café people coming over, Peter said. Dad was like the dad. He was upstairs reading. Mom and her friends were like the kids. The Buffett schedules were so divergent that, when they celebrated their silver anniversary in April 1977, Stan Lipsy had a cartoonist draw a wry card depicting the two of them whirling past each other on the top of a wedding cake. 